All right, do you wanna up your game in terms of streaming or Teams calls or Zoom calls? Well, in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure OBS or Open Broadcaster Software, how to get scene set up, how to set up your camera, your microphone, all in under 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start out in the Windows 11 machine uh, without OBS installed. You'll start by looking into your different devices that you have. You'll notice that I've already got a microphone here, my Shure MV7 hooked up. If I go into the Bluetooth and devices list and settings, I can see I've got my different cameras. I've used an app called Cam Rename in order to rename my CamLink devices. So now I've got my camera and my microphone set up. So let's continue on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to download OBS. So if you search for download OBS, that will take you to obsproject.com. Now you wanna use this one and not Streamlabs OBS in most cases. This is completely free. It is open source. So then from there you pick your platform and download your installer. That's gonna ask you whether or not you wanna save or open it. I prefer to save in these cases, but you could actually open the installer from here. And then once you do that, now you're able to open the file and start installation of OBS. Now that's going to walk you through a basic software install that you're pretty used to by now probably. So I'll go ahead and go through that right now. So I'll go ahead and hit next. Um, and then I'll pick the standard folder and program files to install. I've sped this up a little bit to save some time. But then once it's ready, it will ask you to launch OBS. And then from there, you can continue working. Now you can either optimize for streaming if you're using things like Twitch, for example, or YouTube. You can also optimize for recording or just use the virtual camera if it's just for meetings like Teams or Zoom. In my case, I'll optimize for recording because that's what I primarily use OBS for, but that will also let you set up a virtual camera. Now from here, you can change your base canvas resolution. So you can either do 1080p like I have here, or for example, if you've got a 4K monitor or something with larger resolution, you can choose that. Now, once you're ready to go, you just go ahead and hit apply settings and that will open up OBS Studio for you. And now everything's blank. So now you've got to set up OBS. So from here, if you look at scene collection, you'll see it sets up an untitled scene for you. Now this is where you can either change the name of it or use that untitled scene. I tend to use the untitled scene. It also sets up, or sorry, untitled profile. It also sets up a scene for you. Now from there you can add different scenes if you want. And here I'm gonna go ahead and call this one uh, camera main. So this will be my first scene. And so the camera main in this case is going to be um, where I attach my main camera, my Sony a7 in this case that you're looking at right now. So let's go ahead and uh, add a source. So we'll add a new video capture device. If you had an existing one, you'd hit add existing, but in our case, since nothing's been added to OBS, I'll create a new one and I'll name it Sony A7 uh, for the camera, and then I will select it. Now this is gonna enumerate all the different cameras that I have available to me. So in my case, I have a built-in camera. I'm, I'm running this off of a Surface device, and I can also uh, use the Sony A7, so I'll select that one. Now I need to set up a microphone. Now I can use the default mic on the device, but to uh, hook up and unhook different mics. So I think it's better to have a default microphone actually configured through OBS. So like before, we'll go ahead and create a new, uh, a new capture device for audio, name it, and I'll name it Shure MV7. And then this one, I'll go ahead and pick my microphone here, uh, the correct one that matches with the name. And now I have my first scene set up. And now I can, if I want to mute the other audio sources. So for example, if I want desktop audio to be muted, if you're playing a video in the background or game or other things that will come through otherwise. So I wanna mute the microphone. And also you wanna make sure that you're favoring that shore mic. So I'll mute the desktop audio. And now I've got my microphone set. And from here, if I wanted to, I could go into advanced audio properties and change any of that as well. In my case, I'll leave everything as is. So I'll create another scene here in this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a scene now for a demo. And I'll do a demo with uh, the camera in view as well. So now if I go ahead and do that and I save it, now I've got a second scene set up, technically a third scene, but I'll go ahead and configure that one because for that one, I actually want to have display capture and pick the screen that I want to capture. In my case, I don't have any 
uh, screens configured, and I'm on three monitors, so I'll click the right monitor in my case, and from there, uh, I'll go ahead and select the one that I want to capture. So it, it looks like it is going to be either the third monitor. Let's try that. Nope, it's going to be the second monitor. There we go. Now I've got the monitor that I'm actually recording. Uh, I'm actually using Camtasia to record all of this as well, but you can use OBS to record the screen like you're seeing here. And then I'll go ahead and add a video capture device. In my case, now I have the existing A7 that I can add to it. And from there I can resize it because if I want my attention to be drawn mainly to the demo screen and maybe secondarily to my camera, then I can resize. And so with these uh, anchor points on the different screens, we can resize, we can drag and drop them around. We can also do things like change the background, but I won't go into that here because this is a very short video. Now I'll go ahead and uh, from there, now that I've got my two different displays set up, I can add a uh, audio device. So I'll go ahead and add my Shure MV7 microphone again. So now I have a scene that has both my demo and my camera, and I can switch between the two scenes. So now I've got a very basic setup for OBS. Now in this case, I probably also want to have a pure demo scene set up because I might want a third scene just in case I want to go full screen on a demo. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll add a scene and I'll call it demo full screen. There we go. And hit OK. Now for this one, I don't need the camera, but I do need to go ahead and add the, um, the display capture. So I'll go ahead and select display capture. In my case, I'll add the existing right monitor and I can leave that full screen, but I still need to have a microphone or audio set up for this. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And now I'll choose my audio input source. I've already got my existing Shure MV7, so I can select that. Now all three of my scenes have a visual, either the demo screen or the camera or both, and they have the audio configured. So now I can record. Um, and switch between the different scenes just by clicking on um, on these different selectors. I can set this up as a second monitor or use something like a stream deck. And just to, if I want to resize my image here in the demo with camera, if I hit the Alt key while I resize, that actually crops in on the image a bit. And I might want to do that to uh, resize some things around. I can also do things like full screen the demo if I want to and just place uh, place that image where I want. Now sometimes these, these controls can get a little bit tricky in terms of the mouse, so sorry about that. Um, now I'll move this down to, uh, I'll try to move this down to the lower right corner right over the clock, and there we go. Now I've got a, a smaller uh, thumbnail in terms of my video that will overlay itself on top of the demo. So now everything's set up. So now I've got three different scenes. And from here, if I want to, I can start the virtual camera. Now what this will do is it's going to add it then as a camera option within things like Microsoft Teams or Zoom or other apps. So let me go ahead and open up Teams here and I'll go ahead and dock that to the right hand side of the screen. It looks like I've got a bit of an inception thing going on the left. Um, and if I hit the meet now button, what that's gonna do is then give me the ability to select the camera that I want. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera on and I will open up settings. Now from here, I want to select the camera that I just created. So it will default to kind of the first camera on the list, which is my Sony ZV-E10. So let me uh, change that now to the OBS virtual camera. So now if I want to do things with the camera, overlay different themes, if I want to show screens, demos, other things through that screen, I can do that. So I'll just go ahead and use the drop down to select the OBS virtual camera. That'll just take a second to refresh. And now as you can see, kind of again in the inception kind of way, it has everything uh, shown here on the screen. So now you'll see once I dock the meeting screen to the right hand side and OBS to the left, I can control what's in the Microsoft Teams meeting simply by selecting between my different scenes. So there was a very quick way to set up three scenes in OBS and use the virtual camera as a way to share my video. 
that was just a quick setup guide in terms of how to get OBS up and running very quickly from download all the way to getting your scenes created and starting the virtual camera with Microsoft Teams. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give me a like. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.